we can. Uh. Ah! to you and a warm welcome to Taskmaster, or as my nan calls it, what, that silly thing you do where you pretend you're cross because a comedian hasn't counted some ducks properly or something? Get lost, nan! You haven't even seen it! You've been dead for 15 years! <laughs> you're such a chopsy nan! Why can't you just say, ooh? <laughs> and they've not got a ghost knitting club! <laughs> Back in this dimension, things are going well for some and really badly for others. Please welcome our Earthly Five, who are still alive. They are... Dara Bree! <laughs> Fan Brady! John Cairns! Munya Chihuahua! And Sarah Millican! And next to me, a man who dots the I's and crosses the T's. He wets the bed, he likes to please. He cries a lot, his winkle smells, and he still shoplifts to get attention. <laughs> it's... A little Alex Hall! Oh. Hi. Oh. Cool. How have you been since the last show? Terrific, thank you. I've joined a cult. Oh, have love you? Love it, love it. <laughs> love the cult, yeah. Just a small one, just the three of us. Me, my wife, Alan. That's it. Just the three of us in Alan's vehicle. Right, and what are you doing there? <laughs> Never you mind, Greg. <laughs> right then, on with the show proper. <laughs> What's the old prize task then? Hmm, great question, Greg. I'm on it, Papa GD. And today, you have asked them to bring in the best thing you've ever received in the post. Ooh. Hey, guys, remember post? They shove stuff through a hole in your door. Greg here will give five points to the person he thinks has brought in the best thing they've received in the post, and then at the end of the show, the overall winner will take home all five things to start a new life in a new home. It's very post-modern. Uh, <laughs> Munya! So, I have brought in the Suckatron 3000. Here it is. This isn't the official name, so don't Google it, cos I, I don't know what's gonna come up. <laughs> Greg, you ever been sat there? on your laptop, devouring a bag of crisps, and you look down at the keyboard and there's enough crumbs to feed a small family. Yep. That ever happened to you? Of course it has. OK, yes. now... Have a look. <laughs> <laughs> this thing here sucks those crumbs. By the way, I, I have Googled Suckatron 3000. Yeah. <laughs> oh! <laughs> <laughs> it comes up somewhere. God, that looks like it smells. <laughs> Sarah. Can you beat a uh, mini vacuum? So, from the age of about 10 or 12, I've loved Philip Schofield. And <laughs> I had a lot of posters of him, and I took a photo of myself, of me in my bedroom, with my perm and all of my posters of Philip Schofield, and I sent it to him, presumably for him to keep. <laughs> he sent it back. This came through the post to Sarah. Oh. Weird. Look how pleased I am. He's not on the uh, crucifix, is he? <laughs> <laughs> A true fan. It's sort of so on the line between being quite sweet and being terrifying. <laughs> this is very strong so okay. far. So far, who's next? Fern. I don't know if this is the best thing or the worst thing, but for years now, my mum has been sending me the most unbelievably ugly pants uh, that I've ever seen. Here are Fern's mum's pants. <laughs> <laughs> My mum, I believe, was sending me these as some sort of ch chastity belt <laughs> type thing. Uh, and was there a note with them? Uh, just this is a little present for you. <laughs> <laughs> Love mum. Yeah. <laughs> John, can you beat some um, special pants? I've gone down the same route Sarah has. OK. Nostalgia. Yep. My, uh... Dennis the Menace, fan club membership and badges. Here it is. Sweet. <laughs> <laughs> I'm surprised, John, because I was a member of that as well. But surely it was a significant goal in our age. Yeah, two generations I had, down. All right. <laughs> <laughs> you know, if you met a, another member... Which you just have. Yeah, so I say ding, you say... Dong. <laughs> Dong stood for Dennis Owens Naughty Nasher. <laughs> 
can't, I can't remember what ding stood for. Dennis is never good, is the ding one. Ah. Yeah. That's really sweet, John, and very clever, cos you've tapped into my childhood as well. Um, Dara. I brought anything that shouldn't be sent in the post, uh, which is an entire turkey. Here it is. <laughs> Wow. My mother's cousins lived in County Mayo, they had a farm, uh, and every Christmas they would send us the turkey we ate at Christmas. This was full turkey, head squeezed in, box just <laughs> wrapped around it, misshapen, you'd pop it up like whatever. <laughs> and here, proper pre butcher turkey in the post, and we'd collect it from the post depot every year, around about Incredible. mid December. Yeah, someone's going to win that tonight. So that's <laughs> It's the best thing to receive through the post, Greg. What's the worst thing to receive through the post? I mean, probably the worst thing to receive, and I think she'd agree with me, is Fern's mum's pants. <laughs> don't, but, but don't keep saying mum's pants, cos she might be upset when this goes out. You're only getting one point, and she's going to be angry anyway. <laughs> what? I'm only getting one. It's the best that... Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Right, so <laughs> one point to Fern Brady. I mean, in many ways, it's the thing that makes my heart sing the most. But I th also think it's awful to get a turkey through the post. <laughs> it's not the best thing. That was at Christmas. I'm not suggesting for a second that your Christmases weren't heartbreaking, Doug. <laughs> OK, so two points to Dara O'Brien. He tapped into my childhood. We crossed the generations, like the true ding-dong as we are. I'll give him three points. OK, three points to John Kern. Yeah, well yeah. done. So it's the top two now. Monia or Sarah? God, let me tell you. My keyboard looks like a war zone. <laughs> but I'm only going to give it four points. Oh. Obviously, the best thing to get through the post is a picture of Sarah Millican surrounded by Philip Schofields. <laughs> Everyone knows that. There it is, five, five points. points. Well done, Sarah Millican. <laughs> What's first, please? Mmm, mmm, milk. Hello. Hello, Monia. Oh, I love milk. Microwaves and plinths. Milk or microwaves? <laughs> is that what we have for tea? Bread. Peas. Yes, there's five minutes to go on that. And there is just a minute to go on what appears to be just bread. Is this just your lunch? It's a lot of peas for one person. I would worry about your guts. Do you like peas? Um, I don't like milky peas. <laughs> and there's a metal bowl there as well. Yeah. So stuff's got to get mixed. Stuff's got to get mixed. Shall I open my task? I wouldn't open it yet. OK. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I wouldn't open it yet. Wouldn't open it yet if I were you? No. I wouldn't open it just yet. Why? I'm just saying I wouldn't open it yet. <laughs> I should open this because, you know, this thing's counting down. Yeah. And you just said, well, I wouldn't if I were you. Can't oh, I wouldn't if I were you. But that's the kind of thing where it'll get in the two minutes you go, why didn't you open it? Mm -hmm. So I'm not allowed to look at this yet? You're allowed to look at that whenever you want. You said no, though. You're allowed to. I'd say I wouldn't if I were you. Bye. I know what's in it. So, uh, all of you. How does it make you feel when Alex does something like that? What emotional response? No, no, I'm, I'm sorry, are we doing therapy now? Um, <laughs> just wondering how it makes you feel about Alex, that's all. I feel powerless. Uh, I feel... <laughs> Come on, <laughs> Milky Peas. Oh, I've got a nickname. <laughs> well, we're going to begin by standing firm with John and Fern. Well, when do I open it? Whenever you want. Wouldn't open it yet if I were you. Yeah, but you're not me. What's your name? John. Star sign? Kearns. Really? What did you ask me? Star sign. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, people usually go first name. Right. Then they go last name. Right. Aries. <laughs> 28 minutes. Place of birth. St Thomas's Hospital. Are you opening it? Do you want me to open it? I wouldn't open it. But why are you saying that? It's your star sign. Gemini. How high can you jump? Ooh. 
foot. Ah, Brad's ready. What's the other questions? Who's your favourite singer, John? Uh, Rufus Wainwright. Yuck. <laughs> ah. You've got more questions if you want them. Yeah, go on. Phobias? No, nothing. Biggest regret? I'm not going to say I haven't lived my life without regrets, <laughs> but I tend not to dwell on them. Just give me a regret. I don't really have any, but I'm not one of the, these kind of people that doesn't have regrets. So you do have regrets? I've got regrets, yeah. Right, what's the biggest one? <laughs> have you been to Greece? Yeah, no, you're mad, huh? Have you been to Greece? No. Right. Within 30 seconds of opening this task, you must pack up both milk bottles and hold them directly above the microwave. The clock stops when a milk bottle, hand or arm, touches, touches the microwave, microwave or is no longer directly above a microwave. Lowest number on the clock wins, but if the clock reaches zero, you're disqualified. I'm a strong boy. I'm not joking. I've had a shoulder injury recently that, uh, and I can't eat. Mm -hmm. There we go. Thank you. <laughs> mm. A few regrets now. Mm-hmm. I'll try to warn you. Um... Oh, it's just struck the mic with this, so I'll stop the clock. That's why I didn't want you to open the task. Why? Well, so the clock would go down more. Oh, so it's OK, so I'm, someone might do worse. Yeah, someone might do worse. OK. OK, bye. <laughs>
three minutes. At no point did you say that had to be full, though, did you? Take that off. Right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's done back for you. <laughs> Sorry, everybody. <laughs> ah, like a milky torture. That's it, mate. Just oh. trying to Yeah. Oh, now that's just touched there. Oh, has but, it? Yes, that's enough. Oh, no, look at my boots. Now look at the floor, Sarah. Oh, I should have tipped them out before. I could have brought that to you. Sorry, everybody. To drain the milky milk vessels. Mm. Very clever. Very clever. I felt I didn't want to make a mess, and I felt really bad. I made such a mess. Throughout the series, whenever like, when Munya, when you came into the lab, every time you went, it stinks in here. <gasps> Throughout the series, <laughs> that's her. <laughs> you, and if you if you think that's bad, you should go round to Dara's at Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> So they cleaned and there was a pocket they couldn't find because it still stank and then eventually it, it was went, found. It was under the flooring. Millican's milky pocket. <laughs> <laughs> My stark contrast. Get a bit confused, old man. <laughs> that has haunted me. <laughs> and it is on a low rung of the regret shelves. <laughs> yes. Oh, one you can easily oh, access. It's eye level. It is absolutely <laughs> eye level. Well, much like on a summer's day, if you're wandering through a meadow and you might just catch a beautiful butterfly, <laughs> we've caught the moment where Dara realised that he's totally <laughs> this. Wait, what? <laughs> Hang on, what? Wait. Wait, what? <laughs> <laughs> yes. So it's quite what? Yes. What wait? <laughs> wait, wait what? what? Uh, yeah. <laughs> Munya does everything with absolute commitment. Yeah. It's incredible. I imagine you clean your teeth like let's do let's do this. <laughs> in my mind, I felt like Moses in the Red Sea. <laughs> mm, it's cold in the milk, freaking the microwave is blowing, that's Jesus whispering to me. Honestly, it, it, I had a vision. Well, yeah, I mean, Sarah did it well in every single way. She, she delayed the most with the questions and then she found a technique, so she did well. Lowest number wins. Dara, unfortunately, comes last. <laughs> 26 minutes 55. Fern gets two points with 26 minutes and four seconds. Then Munya, who held them up for over four minutes, which is amazing. They're, each one is the weight of a chihuahua, genuinely. Uh, <laughs> 25 minutes and four seconds. John held out longer than you, though. 23 minutes and 30 seconds. Sarah wins it, though, with 16 minutes and 58 seconds and five wow. points! <laughs> right. Scoreboard, please. Well, I can tell you Dara and Fern are in joint last. John and Munya in joint second. Sarah, though, is in the lead with 10 points! <laughs> well, I, for one, am ready for another. Oh, well, I'm ready for a holiday. <laughs> iPad. Oh, fair pretty. Is that you? Uh, that's me, yeah. Hello, Bryn. Yes, that's me. I'm waiting for Munya Chihuahua. Yes, that's me. You even spelled my name right. Sick. Hello. Welcome home. Is this your suitcase? No, that's your suitcase. Oh, no. Where are we off to today? Get to the end of the lanes in exactly the same amount of time. One lane, two lanes. That time must be under one minute. Of course, there's two times whens. Also, you must mirror yourself during your attempts. There are two bonus points for the most stylish mirroring. 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 <laughs> Both attempts must take place within the next ten minutes. This is lane one there. Yeah. On the flat. Yeah. This is lane two. It's a travelator. Yeah. And you want to reach to the ends of them at exactly the same time. I can tell you, if you were stationary on that, yes. it takes about 1 minute 25. The time I do it in must be under a minute, so I cannot be stationary on it. Mmm, sneaky, sneaky, sneaky. 
But there's no, there's no point going quick on here because that'll mean I have to go double quick there. Can you go double quick? Greg will give style points to the most stylish people. From Greg. <laughs> style points from Greg. Right, it's a pretty straightforward thing. Just a personal note, I absolutely love those things. I genuinely could ride one of those all day. It's not that interesting, but I'm, I'm never more at peace. <laughs> Shall I show them what they did? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, have a look at them, yeah. <laughs> First up, it's Sarah and Sarah. <laughs> Good luck. Thank you. Good luck. Thank you. Thank you. It says to it stylishly. I had a nice coat on. <laughs> <laughs> Is that Next, here's what the Daras did. his Soviet vibe you went for. <laughs> really wasn't the music that was in my head for that. Uh, that, was, that was applied retrospectively. Uh... <laughs> now it's time for Kearns's turn. <laughs> I don't think you'd expect me to skip like that. C correct. Yeah. It's quite a Willy Wonka vibe you had going on, I thought. Yeah, I'm, I'm faster than I look. Yeah. <laughs> See, I'm making out. I'm making out of that. Yeah. You making out? John is oh. faster than he. Well, looks. I have to go into notes. <laughs> <laughs> We're in the halfway. Here is Munya. <laughs> right, here we go. Here we go. So. Beauty to watch, I thought. I was in awe, yeah. <laughs> Tara? Um, did he ever cross the line? Oh, like that, is it? <laughs> oh, Tara! <laughs> is this the man who held milk for a microsecond? Microsecond? <laughs> Talking to me, Mr. And Wake, you all what, 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 had what? a big <laughs> party about that. Just, hold me back, John, hold me back, hold me back. <laughs> <laughs> hold me back. <laughs> it would seem monstrous to strip him of his points, but <laughs> I guess if that's what Tara wants. <laughs> 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 we 
would you count that as the end of the walk, Greg? I suppose is the question. Yeah, that's, that's the big question, isn't it? <laughs> I think enough of that case is over the line. That's yeah. what I think. Yeah, Dara. <laughs> Who's left? Well, finally, it's firm. Ready? Ready. People's champion, anyway. <laughs> you talk us through your performance, uh, Fern. Uh, from my point of view, I've written down uh, lacklustre and wildly inaccurate. <laughs> I, I tried really hard. <laughs> I feel like I don't know what's real anymore. <laughs> 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 because, because at the time, I kind of thought that there was some airport staff and they were looking at me funny. <laughs> I thought, oh, they're just really jealous of my costume. <laughs> 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 I didn't know it was that bad. <laughs> Unfortunately, Fern, on one side of the path, she did it in 29 seconds, the other in 45 seconds. So there was a 16-second difference. In comparison, the two Daras had a four-second difference, the two Munyas a three-second difference, the two Johns, half a second difference. Sarah, negligible difference wow. at all. So, Sarah definitely gets the five points. Oh, no. <laughs> Between Munya and John for the style points. It's most stylish mirroring. Well, I think one style point each is fair. One bonus style point to Munya and one to John! Yay. OK. I'd like another lovely little task, please. Good. Well, here's a lovely little task where they wear some lovely little messy hats. <laughs> So, and actually, before you open, I just need to do something. Wait one second. What are you doing? Nothing. What are you doing? Nothing. What are you doing? Nothing. Oh, no! Here it comes. What are you doing? What are you doing? Nothing. That's just rude. You're really pushing me today, Alex. You know this. You just put paint in me hat. Yes. Oh. Can I ask what you're doing? No. All right. Thanks, Paulie. You haven't made me wow. <laughs> yeah. Strike the bullseye with your paint. The bullseye must be round there, then. OK. You must only step on the stepping stones and you must step on all the stepping stones. You're, wait, what? No. <laughs> oh, Jesus! Also, your hands must be below your waist at all times. Fastest wins. Your time starts now. Interesting um, reaction from, from Dara after he'd spilt a little paint down his front when he was trying to get his head around the task. Oh, do you want to hear it? Yeah. <laughs> you oh, wait, what? No. <laughs> <laughs> Good, let's go. Yeah, so you've got to hit the target with your paint. You can only step on the stepping stones. You must step on all the stepping stones, hands below the waist. Off we go. First up, it's Mun and Fun. Money and firm. <laughs> Your time starts now. OK, Alex, can you talk at whilst I walk, yeah? I think so. <laughs> what the hell? Alex? Yeah? OK, I need to go back. I need to get some more. Ah! You put paint on the flag. Oh, <laughs> 
back in this. Ah! Is there a pain in my hair? Would you like a shower cap? Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Ah. Mm. Mm. Ah. This is something I learned from being a shop girl at uni. <laughs> 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 Yeah, stop the clock. I don't think of the other people I'm competing against often enough, so I'm thinking of them now, trying to think how I hate them. Be, be careful on this bit. Oops! Did you see that? No. Dick! <laughs> <sighs> yeah, it is a bit further than that. You're nearly there. A bigger contrast between the two approaches you couldn't possibly see. No, I was I was trying very hard during that one, but I'm not all like Munya leaping about and stuff. Like... No, I wrote down Munya is an unnecessary action hero. <laughs> <laughs> he, 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 does, he does action hero moves when he could just step over to something. <laughs> When I was at uni, I used to be an American football team. Yeah. And our motto was speed and violence. So, <laughs> basically, what that means is everything you do in life, speed and violence. What about, like, knitting? <laughs> speed and violence. I have a motto. Uh, <laughs> oh, yeah. It's oh. in Latin. It uh, is waitus waters. Uh... <laughs> I mean, Munya was breathtaking to watch. There was a tiny little speck of paint in the bullseye. He did it in one minute 30. It was unbelievably quick. No. But I thought that Fern was breathtaking to watch as well. <laughs> yes, yes. What is she doing? Uh, five and a half minutes. <laughs> Come on, let's crack on. All right, well, there's two more people now, and I've fudged their names together to make Sarah Millikerns. Sarah and John. <laughs> so, hands below your waist. Hands. Can I not do for balance? Yeah, that's perfect. That's a bit unfair. Did you want to check the task? Yeah. Well, you can only step on stepping stones. <laughs> oh, you're kidding me! <laughs> yeah, why? Well, I mean, yeah, I knew it. Okay. <laughs> 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 I mean, I've gone from there to there. I mean, it's madness how far I've gone. <laughs> oh, done. Ah, you're reversing. Right, you just got a stretch, eh? <laughs> ah, well done, Joe. Yep. How high is the camera? Oh, I've got pain! <laughs> You're through. Oh! Yeah. Yeah. Well, <laughs> yeah.
The contrast with John was <laughs> sensational. <laughs> it's literally like watching an alien pretend <laughs> to be human. <laughs> Significantly worse than first. Yes, eight minutes and three seconds. <laughs> eight minutes? Eight minutes and three seconds, yes. Christ, what was I doing? Yeah. <laughs> Fern's now looking pretty good, especially because we can see a picture of Sarah's hands uh, just slightly above her waist. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 fair enough. They are a little bit. Very high waisted yeah. trousers. <laughs> <isn't it? Yeah. laughs> and, and sadly, I do have to show you this photo as well, Greg, this one here. Yeah. I do have to show you one other thing as well, which is, which is this. Oh, no. Step on all the stepping stones. Yep. Got to speed this up. Shall I go in here? All the information on the task, my yes. <sighs> you must step on all the stepping stones. You, you're labouring that a bit. You put paint on the flag. Yeah, OK. <laughs> I need this. Right, then. Right, we're back in this. We're back in. <laughs> They're dropping like flies! <laughs> I tried to warn them, I, I tried to help. Just sounded like you were being really monotonous. <laughs> <laughs> they just sort of tuned you out. <laughs> all of them, please. <laughs> all of them, please. It's like a bored bloke operating a funfair ride. <laughs> <laughs> Only stepping stones. Okay. Lovely. Wait, what? <laughs> Jesus. All right. That should be enough for now. Yeah. things in this episode, isn't it? Wait, what? <laughs> Wait, what aside, <laughs> exemplary work. How are you feeling now, though? Oh, there's this faint chink of light. Uh, <laughs> I'm, waiting for, I'm just waiting for the shoe to drop. I'm waiting for you to go, but then... Come on, stop waiting for the shoe to drop. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's great. it was great. It Do you want to see this best bit, because it was so graceful? Oh, yeah, that'd be nice. OK. <laughs> Here's Dara's best bit. How much paint do I have now? Chew. That seems a little hard. I think it's awful, Dora. It's an awful way to end, but that's Taskmaster. Mm -hmm. <laughs> It would have been quick. Four minutes forty-five. I oh, mean, not it was quick as well. Yeah, not as quick as money, of course. One minute thirty, but nobody completed the task, so nobody gets a point. <laughs> what? Ooh. Is there any point in looking at the scores after that? <laughs> Probably not. But let's do it anyway. She's in the lead with fifteen points. It's Sarah Milliken. Hey! <laughs> okay, everyone. Before you head up to the stage, Alex has a very important question for you. Yes, I do. I'll start with you, Dara. Inches or feet? <laughs> inches. Fern, inches or feet? Feet. John? Feet. <laughs> Monia? Feet. And then finally Sarah Millican? Inches. Thank you. Curious and curious. <laughs> Good. Please make your way to the stage for the final task of the show! <laughs> They got what they wanted. <laughs> I don't know what's more heartbreaking, short or long. <laughs> Who's going to read the task, Alex? John is going to read the task. Right, John. <laughs> <laughs> P. 
Paint a picture of a unicorn using your head brush. <laughs> you may not handle your head brush at any point. You have two minutes. That's it. Paint a picture of a unicorn. Would you like them to paint a specific unicorn? I'd like him to be prancing. You have two minutes. <laughs> Starting... <laughs> Back on your circles. Show me them prancers. You're going to start with Dara Breen. The short brush has got to be an advantage, surely. Is it, um, is oh. it? Oh! Oh! <laughs> that is one jaunty prancer. <laughs> Hello, Fern. Oh. Uh. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> <laughs> Which ends which? Well, well, it's got a horn coming out with some green and different colours. Oh, yeah. What I see is two fences, <laughs> uh, a big orange and a pepper. Hello, John. Hi, hi. Can I regret this? <laughs> yeah, of course. <laughs> you know where the horn is, though, at least. I know where the big red line is. It's next to the four green lines. Not bad. Not bad. <laughs> Not bad? It looks like a long-legged lobster. <laughs> <laughs> but at least it looks like a creature. And finally, hello, Sarah. Hi. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Lovely. I tried to show movement, but that just ended up as flowers. <laughs> it looks like... Troy's horse. It's, it's a powerful beast. Thanks. Oh, You're so you, you lot chose inches. <laughs> <laughs> Greg, you need to judge these right now. OK, well, I'm giving John Kearns um, one point because he's done a series of lines. One point to John. I'm giving two points to a woman who's drawn two fences, a pepper and an orange. Fern Brady. I'm giving three points to the long-legged lobster. Congratulations, Monia. I'm giving four points to the majestic horse of Troy. <laughs> Being as it is, standing in twilight, waiting. <laughs> but there's only one unicorn prancing in that row. Bam! Dara Brian takes the five points. Well done, Dara. Come down, let's see how that's affected the final scores! Well, well, well. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. I think we've learnt a lot there. Oh, God, we have. Much easier to have a six-inch paintbrush than a six-foot paintbrush. Strapped to your head. Yeah. Yeah. And I guess that's why that's what size they normally are. <laughs> well, it has been a, a, oh, a one-unicorn race with 19 points. The winner is Sarah Millican! Yes! yes. <laughs> Sarah wins! Please pop up to pocket your post! Bye, everyone. And before we go, please cheer one more time for today's winner, Sarah Millican! <laughs> For more Taskmaster, subscribe now!